Hey, and welcome to Digi Pro Tips. I'm Andy Edmondson, and this is where we work smarter and not harder, which is why today we're going to use your smartphone as an NDI enabled web streaming, game streaming camera for OBS. Let's do it. Okay, so what am I talking about by NDI enabled? Well, hopefully, you've come to this video through another one of my videos, which is an in depth NDI guide for beginners or just anyone really, head up to here if you haven't seen it because this will give you an overview of what NDI does but for this video we're going to look at how we can implement NDI and our current tech into one so that we can use it for multiple purposes and this is a perfect example. So what is this going to do for us? Well it's going to take your smartphone and it's going to install an app on it which is going to enable your webcam to talk to OBS wirelessly or wired, it's up to you. So what do we need? Well, we need to head to the app store first and go and download either NDI HX camera from NewTek or NDI cam for OBS. Those are the two cameras that work best. There is another one by Sienna.tv that you could also try and use but I found the NDI HX camera and the OBS camera give the best stable quality. I'll put the links for the NDI cam apps in the description for you. Once you have those downloaded, open them up and basically tweak the settings to how you want them and then hit that NDI enable feature. That will start sending out an NDI stream to your local network. So make sure that you're on Wi-Fi or have an ethernet cable plugged into your smartphone. Now you can get one for lightning, you can get one for micro USB. That is the preferred way to go because it will be the most stable connection to your phone and to your computer that is receiving that NDI signal. But wireless will work. So hit that NDI enable and then you are done on the phone. Just make sure you set it up in a place where you are happy with it, you've got the right lighting, it's stable, it's not gonna fall over. And then we just need to head over to the computer side of things. Okay, so we've got our phone set up with NDI now. What do we need? We need OBS and we need the plugin for OBS to enable NDI. You can get this from the GitHub link down below that I'll put in the description. Just install that for Windows or Mac or Linux and you will have NDI enabled on OBS. And then we just need to make a new scene or if you already have a scene, that is absolutely fine because you know you might have a setup for gaming or tutorials or whatever it might be that you already liked and use that you like to use and prefer. So go with that. But if you're starting from scratch, add a new scene, call it what you want, and then we need to add a new source. Now here, here you should be able to choose NDI source. This is the difference when you've added the plugin in OBS because you can now choose any NDI source from anywhere on your local network. So even if you're not using the NDI cam app on your phone, you're using another NDI application such as NDI scan converter on a different computer, it will pick it up in OBS as long as you have this plugin installed. So hit NDI source and you should be able to choose from a list of sources, there should really only be one if you've only got the NDI cam app on your phone. It should show up instantly, click it, and you will have your phone transmitting a wireless NDI stream to OBS, which you can now use in your recordings, in your live streaming, whatever you want to use it for, but it's coming directly into OBS right now. So, what can you do with this? Well. The options are limitless, really. You can use it for anything. Like I said, you can use it as a game streaming camera. You can use it as a tutorial camera. You can use it as your main recording camera. You can use it for tutorials. You can use it as a webcam for Skype and Zoom calls. You can use it for pretty much whatever you want. But this is how you work smarter and not harder. This is how you use tech you already have for different applications. And this is what DigiPro Tips does. So you know what to do hit that like button, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.